Are you serious? Are you serious? What? This is a huge solar flare eruption on the sun that you're looking at right there. A direct earth facing, a direct hit coming right at the earth. We should be feeling the effects of this CME very, very soon. An extreme solar storm is now approaching the earth. A powerful solar flare sparked on an earth facing section of the sun. The subsequent coronal mass injection, this CME, is expected to reach our planet later in the week. And really, it should start hitting us Friday, all right? Uh, possibly causing disruptions of communication and power grids. This thing was powerful, folks. This thing was an uh, uh, intensely enormous eruption, and you can see where it was caught by NASA's cameras. The flare was has unleashed by the sun yesterday, September 10th, 2014. We got news of this during our live broadcast. We had breaking news yesterday in our live broadcast, the coming apocalypse. We're on every day from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. And even today, it's a special 9-11 broadcast. We're having our live guest, Doug and Joe Hagman, with us as we're going to take a look at the Department of Homeland Security. We're going to take a look at FEMA. We're going to take a look at uh, the border security here in America. We're going to take a look at ISIS in America. We're going to talk about the Pentagon. We're going to talk about the president's war plan from last night. I mean, wow. But we need to also take a look at the signs going on in the heavens. Folks, it's like every apocalyptic sign that could even could you could even imagine are happening simultaneously massive floods explosive thunderbolts it snowed yesterday it snowed yesterday up in montana earliest snowfall in the history of montana uh also folks uh it's 911 today also yesterday was uh people were still reeling over that third straight super moon in 3 months but this flare was a X-class 1.6, uh, putting it the strongest extreme class of a solar flare. It was launched from the sunspot called Active Region 2158 and was caught on the camera by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory spacecraft. Uh, and the reports you can also see on space. Dot com. Now, the same region produced a smaller flare a day before that. The flare was also accompanied by the release of super hot plasma. This CME with the cloud expected to reach the Earth later Friday, tomorrow, September 12, 2014. Now, most of it is expected to pass north of the Earth, causing a relatively weak solar storm. Power grids may still experience some fluctuations as the plasma could affect the planetary magnetic field. We don't need a pole shift right now, but it poses little danger either to anyone down here or to the crew members of the International Space Station. The danger down here is if it fries some of these power grids. This is a direct hit facing the Earth, but the good news is it would drift a little north uh, in the northern part of the earth or a little north of the earth, which means we won't get the full blunt of it, but we'll get a good, we will get a good uh, dose of it. Now, uh, um, one of the bonus sides, the space weather events may trigger a colorful aurora uh, that you'll be able to see somewhere uh, near the North Pole. Minnesota, Canada, some of you guys might actually get to see Norway. Some of you folks in different parts of the world may actually get to see what this thing is. Now, folks, this is not the biggest X-class solar flare of the year. Uh, back in February, we had a monster X-class 4.9, which is absolutely the record ever. But the most strongest solar flare in the history of recording these by NASA is an X-28 that happened back in November of 2003. All right, and the Carrington Super Flare, of course, which fried the telegraph lines 
back in 1859 that some people believe might have been an X-40. But this is still a big flare. It's an X-1.6, and it's directly facing the earth. Now, the Bible said there's in, in Luke chapter 21, verse 25, it says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, for, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory, when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption is drawing nigh. Are you saved? It's very important. We can't afford to have a massive blackout in any major city in this world. But we need to be aware of what's happening around us and above us and beneath us as the core of the earth is continuing to heat up and Yellowstone National Park super volcano continues to rise with intensity. And as we begin to see dormant volcanoes waking up, we know birds are falling from the sky, fish are washed up by the millions, uh, birds by the thousands and hundreds sometimes, and the beasts of the field, cattle, deer, elk, buffalo, bison, different types. We also are dying, also dolphins, whales, and different events earthquakes in different places. We had 44 yesterday, so believe me. And you can watch out for earthquakes on Friday and volcanic activity Friday. Uh, Friday and Saturday from the strong CMEs coming up on the earth. I'll be right back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Do not miss today's special 9-11 broadcast uh, with, Do uh, with the Hagmans, Joe and Doug Hagman. We'll be back in just a moment. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. We're in the last days.